Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona Q. So we're still in the second floor of the Evil Spirits Dungeon, and we're I went to the Velvet Room, and there seems to be some kind of event, and then we're gonna do some stroll events too. So Marie is nowhere to be seen. Welcome. welcome. To the oh, it looks like they're gonna read to me. Oh. Business with Marie. She's out on an errand right now. Please wait here until she returns. Okay, Margaret. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, on an errand. Uh, what? What is she doing? What is she doing on Aaron? I sent her to check on Elizabeth and Theo. Oh, okay. So that's back at the school. It's not an important task, but she seemed to be suffocating here. I mean, she it looks like she can only go up two flights of stairs and not really go up it and she's on like a floating platform. Oh, what the heck? Why am I so sad? Uh there's a piece of stationery on the floor. Oh, no, I'm not sad. I'm just looking at the ground. Oh, what's that? Is it a poem? Could she have dropped it? It happens from time to time. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like she's going to read it to us. It seems that this paper was dropped by Marie. You see something written on it with great passion. Or am I going to read it, or is she going to read it? Pandora. Oh, she's reading it. Can't you see the tears of sorrow? Can't you hear the songs of sadness? Even when they drown the world. Hearts of love. You're satisfied with lies. I'll teach you what truth is. I'll open Pandora's box. I am the liberator. The lonely savior. Your life is mine. Whoa, that was some that was her pathos just screaming. <laughs> Could Murray have written this poem? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Looks like it is. This isn't what it looked like. It's just uh, my pathos was screaming out, and it's not like they're poems. I mean, they are poems, and your pathos was screaming. When you read it, your selfishness is drowning the world. Ha! <laughs> right, a, a line right out of her own poem. I love it. Stupid, I hate you, worst liar. Don't read people's private stuff. Stupid, I hate you, worst liar. <laughs> Marie is blushing. Maybe you dropped it. Marie returns to her seat, apparently unsettled. And there you have it. In any case, what would you like to do? Uh, that's basically all I really wanted to do. So we're gonna head on to the stroll now. So that was just a little mini event with Marie. And here is the stroll events. We have two more. So Junpei's show prep. Let's check it out. Uh, third floor, Concession Alley at the Leftover Deli. Your companions seem to be having a spirited conversation. Mm. Junpei's Believe It or Note. Yep, you don't know it, do you? Uh, so that's that's a throwback to Persona 3. He actually had that when they were talking about some horror spirits in the school. So that's exactly what they had. It. So that's pretty cool. I go over dreadful rumors, urban legends, and supernatural tales in my own distinct style. So, uh, in Persona 3, this is how he discussed the rumor about Fuka being disappeared in the gymnasium. So it was it was this thing. It's pretty popular with the people who love that kind of stuff. I thought it was pretty hilarious. Then of course, she wouldn't know it. Don't let him bother you, Yukiko-chan. If you take him seriously, his stupidity might be catching. That would be awful. Okay, I'll ignore him. Dude, aren't you two being a little too harsh? Oh, I get it. You're trying to stop me from telling any stories because you're scared, Yucatan. What? That's not it at all. I want to hear this believe it or don't thing. Hooray, Chan. I want to hear about bread rumors, cheese curd legends, and natural food experiences. Oh, if that's what it's about, I want to hear it too. You're moving the goalposts. But sure, I'll tell you a normal believe, uh, Junpei's believe it or don't whenever you want. Let's see, how about I give you one once we've made a little more progress through this labyrinth. Didn't you say you tell one whenever? Ugh. I can't wait, right Zen? Hmm? I bet you're gonna try to think one up, starting now. Nah, of course not. <laughs> So that's just a, a throwback to that in Persona 3. You enjoyed some time with your companions. Awesome. 
Now, we are gonna continue on. So this is the other one, Dreaming of Club Activities. So let's see what this is. Second floor display hall at Go You Game Land. Your companions are gathered. Oh, so you're more of an arts person, Fukuchan? Fuka that seems perfect for you. <laughs> Do you think so? It's a bit embarrassing though, because I'm really bad at it. It seems they're talking about club activities. I do fencing, and I can't go to every meeting since I'm on the student council as well, but I give it my- I, I give both my best. That sounds hectic. It's actually more efficient for us to get our combat training in during school life. That's why I don't plan on giving up my position as captain of the boxing club. I see. From how you describe it, it seems everyone from Gecko High belongs to a club. There are a few exceptions. What about you? Most of us aren't in one since we go to the TV world after school. I see. Clubs are such a vital part of school life that it's something of a shame you can't enjoy them. Are you in any clubs, I guess? Yes, yes I belong to the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. Um... Well, I'm in that too. That's C's. Huh? Specialized run that by me again? It's our mission to exterminate shadows. It's on the books as a formal club. It makes things way more convenient in a number of ways. Huh. A shadow exterminating club, huh? Should we make our own investigation team a club too? <laughs> that sounds awesome. Even if we can't join a real club, busting shadows is plenty of enrichment. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well said. Stop. You knew it. That, that reminds me. My classmate in the handcraft club said that you often look in on their club, Kenji-kun. Why is that? What? Uh, not because I was curious about it or nothing. I ain't like I'm taking... Or, it's not like I'm taking long, sad looks at it. Are you hinting that you want to join the handcraft club? Huh? Hell no. <laughs> well, you can never have too much enrichment in your school life. Like I just said, that ain't it. So it looks like Kenji wants to join the crafting club. <laughs> you pass some time with your, with your companions. Alright guys, so that is it for all the events that we have inside the school. And in the next episode, we'll continue on through the second floor of the Evil Spirits dungeon. So I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.